Hello, hello, everyone. This man united inside again on it. Welcome back. Fabrizio Romano on Victor Osimendil. I rejected crazy bid from Saudi. I've got just two PL shirts, Chelsea and Man United. Victor Osimhen says all speaking to a Obion podcast about Napoli, Saudi, Proposal and Premier League. It was incredible to win the Scudetto in Napoli. I felt incredible love from the fans. It was really fantastic. I've, to be honest, I never thought of leaving last summer as Napoli wanted to keep me. But when the offer from Saudi came in, it was a huge one. Big one. It was difficult to reject. Al-Hilal bid. It was crazy. The more I said no, the more they increased their financial proposal again. It was literally like, wow, it was going to change my life and they never gave up. But I said, no guys, thanks. I'm staying here. I don't have a favorite PL team, but I've got two jerseys from my brother, Chelsea and Man United. Many friends of mine are Chelsea fans. Few of them are Manchester United fans. Premier League is the most appreciated league by every African player. It's a huge league. Sir Bobby Charlton Funeral. Full guest list including Prince William, Gary Lineker, and host of Man Uttit Greats. Sir Alex Ferguson headed the Old Trafford contingent that also included a host of current and former players. The great and the good of football were in attendance as Sir Bobby Charlton's funeral was held at Manchester Cathedral on Monday afternoon. Prince William, in his role as FA President, England manager Gareth Southgate, Sir Alex Ferguson and Gary Lineker were among those who paid their respects to the Manchester United and England legend after his death at the age of 86. United said current manager Eric Ten Hag sent his regrets due to an unbreakable and long-standing personal commitment in the Netherlands, with no members of the Glazer family attending due to the current unrest around the club's ownership. Several first-team players were also away on international duty. Legendary former player Mike Summerby and current CEO Ferran Soriano were the Manchester City representatives at Manchester Cathedral on Monday afternoon. Sir Bobby Charlton's funeral, full guest list at Manchester Cathedral. Governing Bodies Prince William, President-Designate, the FA, Alexander Chaferin, President UEFA, Gareth Southgate, England Manager, Debbie Hewitt, FA Chair and FIFA Vice President, Alison Brittain, Premier League Chair, Manchester United Officials, Sir Alex Ferguson, former manager and ambassador, Richard Arnold, CEO, David Gill, director and former CEO, John Shields, CEO, Manchester United Foundation, Martin Edwards, president and former CEO, Ed Woodward, former CEO, current Manchester United players, Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, Johnny Evans, Tom Heaton, former Manchester United players, Alex Stepney, Paddy Corand, John Aston, JNR, Brian Kidd, Sammy McElroy, Alan Gowling, Lou Macari, Willie Morgan, Martin Bukan, Brian Robson, Mark Hughes, Brian McClare, Steve Bruce, Mike Fallon, Gary Pallister, Ryan Giggs, Peter Schmeichel, Andrew Cole, Roy Keane, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Nicky Butt, Paul Scholes, Wes Brown, Wayne Rooney, Michael Carrick, Darren Fletcher, Ashley Young, non-United former players, Mike Summerby, Man City, Ian Callaghan, Liverpool, Alan Kennedy, Liverpool, Gary Lineker, various. The reason why Man Ut manager Eric Ten Hag is not attending Sir Bobby Charlton's funeral. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is not attending Sir Bobby Charlton's funeral. Here's why. Charlton, who made 758 appearances for United, scoring 249 goals and winning three league titles, the FA Cup and the European Cup, died last month after an accidental fall at the nursing home where he was receiving dementia care. He was 86. On Monday, thousands of people are expected to line the streets of Manchester to honor one of English football's greatest players as his funeral procession takes place. The funeral cortege is expected to arrive at Old Trafford at about 13.30 and pass in front of the stadium to allow fans to say goodbye before the funeral service begins at Manchester Cathedral. 
Up to 1,000 guests are scheduled to attend the service, including the Charlton family, the football icon's friends, as well as leading figures from across the sporting world. As per the Manchester Evening News' Samuel Luckhurst, the likes of Sir Alex Ferguson, Ola Gunnar Solskjaer, Roy Keane, Wayne Rooney and Ryan Giggs are among those attending Charlton's funeral. Moreover, of United's current crop of players, Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, Johnny Evans and Tom Heaton are all expected to be present. Of course, most of United's squad is absent due to international duty. Luckhurst added that the club's controversial owners, the Glazer family, will not be present as they do not want to be a distraction from the service. Moreover, United boss Ten Hag will not attend the funeral. The Dutchman has reportedly sent his regrets due to an unbreakable and long-standing personal commitment in the Netherlands. In the wake of Charlton's death, however, Ten Hag cited the United icon as an inspiration for his players, who claimed a 2-1 win away to Sheffield United. Sir Bobby was a legend, a giant, not only for Manchester United but for football, Ten Hag said. The legacy that he left for standards, high standards, we have to live it every day. Of course, first of all, our thoughts are with his family, his wife, children and grandchildren. But it's also what he meant for Manchester United, his importance for Manchester United. The standards he set, we have to live it. And in the last couple of days, they were emphasized. We are professionals, and it is our job. But you can't ban emotions. You use emotions in the right way. Manchester United, eyeing move for teenager who has almost knocked them out of the Champions League. Manchester United fans will not like the look of Rooney Bargee at the moment, following what he did for Copenhagen against them. But he could soon feature as a red devil if things go according to plan. The Swedish teenager is widely considered one of the most talented prospects in world football, and for good reason. The 17-year-old is very good at what he does, and he would keep getting better as time goes on. Considering the predicament that United seem to have with their wingers, they could do with a prodigious option like Rooney Bargji. There is a reason why he is adored so much by the football enthusiasts and the Red Devils got first glimpse of it. This interest comes after Bargji's standout performances, notably scoring the decisive goal against United in a Champions League match, have put him on the radar of several top clubs across Europe. That's what the Sun claim. His skills and potential have earned him the nickname Swedish Messi, and he's been making waves in the football world with his impressive record of 11 goals in 24 games this season. Bargji's preferred position on the right flank where he can cut inside on his left foot, has contributed significantly to his success and appeal. Manchester United's interest in Bardgaji is part of a broader strategy to rejuvenate the squad with...